This is from you guys. Um, this uh, thumbnail right here, you guys seem to like quite a bit. And as you can see, look, compared to my normal performance, 227% more watch time on this video, 153% more views. Um, and the average duration was up as well. And what I noticed was the last two videos I had said at the beginning of the video, make sure you guys watch the whole thing, blah, blah, blah. And it seems like just saying that has actually improved my watch time. A couple of other things that I had done um, was, as you guys know, the last couple videos have been like popping up like little pop-ups and stuff like that and just trying to keep it more entertaining, kind of switching it. Um, I had a couple different shots in there that I was kind of messing with. Um, so if you're able to like change camera angles or pop something up, just something that keeps engagement because it's something that just like keeps changing the video. Um, those sort of things people really like to see. Um, I'm not going to do that today because it's midnight and I got to get up in three hours so I'm not going to be editing anything. But um, as you can tell, just saying, will you watch the whole thing, helped people watch the whole thing. Um, and so I thought that was really cool. And what I also wanted to say was if you go into the analytics here, and so one thing that you guys should really be checking out is click-through rate. It's really, really important because basically, if your click-through rate's good, that means that people are watching your videos. It means that they're clicking on them, which means that your thumbnails are good, okay? And so basically, as you can tell here, um, these are my best uh, click-through rate videos so far. Um, and so click-through rate is really, really important. And so that's something you definitely want to study. Um, and so just by clicking and seeing what your thumbnail was will show you. So this one I didn't even think was gonna be that good, but uh, that's actually one of my best click-through rate videos I have. And I don't know if my, the videos I had before, or I can't find them right now, but the last two thumbnails that I did had like the best click-through rate I've ever had. Um, and so, what I'm trying to say here is that click-through rate is really important. And so if you want to know if your thumbnail sucks or not, this is the page that's going to tell you that. And so you could come down to these ones. First of all, whatever I did on these, you want to say, okay, don't do that again. So uh, obviously the click-through rate on this in the last 28 days has been really bad. Um, and so obviously you could do all time so you could see all time what your best click-through rates are But it on your worst click-through rates what you can also do is change the thumbnails So sometimes you might be ranked on the front page of a tag that not that many people are ranked for um, But and you know, you're on the front page and so you can go in and what you usually want to do to see if you're ranked is actually go in and open like a like an incognito tab where, um, or you know, there's, there's a different name for it on every single browser. But if you go in there, that will tell you as if you're a fresh new person to YouTube without any cookies or anything, will tell you, you know, who's actually ranked at the top for a keyword. And if you're ranked for one of the smaller keywords, you might actually be on the front page. It's just no one's clicking your videos. And if that's the case and you see your click-through rate's really low, change the thumbnail on that video to something else. Try a new thumbnail um, and so because if you're on the front page and you're just not getting click throughs that just means that your thumbnail is not good um, this is something I did on my racing channel I had a Daytona 500 video and it was on the front page because it had a lot of watch time from one of the tactics I teach in my course but it was on the front page for Daytona 500 iRacing um, which is something that gets quite a few views but obviously they didn't like the thumbnail, so I just changed the thumbnail and then I started getting more views coming in and that's just because I'm on the front page, it's just they didn't like the thumbnail, so then you sw switch to a better one and that's something that you can learn through uh, just by looking at these click-through rates. So if your click-through rate is really good, um, what you want to look at next is watch time. That's going to be the next thing. So if your click-through rate is really good, but then you go to watch time and your watch time sucks and it's lower than average, which that's why I like this beta. It tells you a lot of things like that. Uh, basically, that's going to tell you that your video is not very good. Um, so that's kind of how you can tell the difference. Like, that's what I like about this new beta. It tells you exactly what the click-through rate is, which pretty much equates to, does my thumbnail suck or not? And then you're, you can go in there and then look at watch time and that, that will tell you, does my video suck or not? And so by, you know, taking that data and like I said, you can switch the thumbnail if the click-through rate sucks. Those are things that can really help you out and change your channel for the better. 
Um, and like I said, the last two videos, I worked harder on my thumbnails, and they have more views than most of that views, most of the videos I've ever made. Um, and so that is just a result of you know studying and trying to do something different than what everybody else in that tag is doing, and trying to do something different than what I normally do. And those things have really helped to you know propel my channel. And so hopefully that helps you guys out. Uh, definitely take a look at this. This this page right here is just it's so much information. Just watch time and click through rate. Um, really helps because before you had no clue if your thumbnails were good or not or if people were clicking them or not. You really didn't know. Now you have exact data on exactly how many people are clicking. And basically the only thing that talks that's wor that's uh, concerned with clicking on it is the title and the thumbnail. So if the click through rate's not good. Uh, think about changing the thumbnail think about changing the title and then learn from it for the future and that will really help your channel grow so hopefully this helps you guys out just a quick video just wanted to give some updates before i head to philadelphia i know i haven't posted in over a week um part of it was i was just letting those two videos grow because i know that they were they had a lot of momentum going so i didn't want to kill that momentum on those two videos but i knew i needed to get something out before i left tomorrow or else it'd be like two and a half three weeks i didn't post so wanted to get an update out there for you guys so hopefully you enjoyed i'm off to philadelphia thanks a lot for watching